Hello, what's up, y'all? It's Pablo and Turkin. And today, about to react to this video by Armand Wiggins. It's titled Jason Lee Continues to Try and Bully Jay Z and Beyonce into Friendship <laughs> and Engagement. I cannot. Yeah, he does speak on them quite a bit. So I just reacted to a video not too long ago about him talking about why Beyonce's brands keep failing. <laughs> you know, and I remember he was so upset because he bought all these concert tickets to uh for beyonce's concert and then he was mad that she didn't invite him to her movie showing or something like that i don't know child but yeah let, let's hear what armand has to say about all this let's watch all right what's popping everybody it's your boy armand and we're back with another video get in here get <coughs> in here it's time to get into some things all right so we got to talk about jay-z jason lee beyonce i'm sure jason's gonna love this being attached to jay-z beyonce's name Ooh. um yet yet again um, now, first, I got to give a shout out to Storm Morrow because I actually seen it on his page first. I didn't really know this was a thing until I seen his video. So I was like, well, let's get into it. And so I seen it, and then I was like, well, let me go on Twitter and see what they're talking about. So I want to kind of get into this. So Jason Lee is apparently upset with Jay-Z and Beyonce because they're, he's now getting phone calls from their camp basically saying, I don't know, he's alluding that they're wanting him to put out fires for them or not putting the information out. And he says that he stopped a major story or um, Jay-Z and Beyonce coming out. You know, this comes a year after, you know, he threatened, you know, Beyonce, um, you know, that he would put something out on Jay-Z and Beyonce if they didn't give him a Kelly. Oh, I remember that. You. Um, I don't know. All of this feels like Jason Lee's upset that they don't engage with him, that they won't give him any attention. Um, but let's listen to it, and let's, you know, let's be fair here. Let's have an open mind, and let's get into this team. All right, so let's listen to what he has to say first, and I'll give you guys my opinion. They didn't call me to offer I, Jason Lee, be get, I'm getting calls, and I haven't even said anything. <clears throat> they ain't called me to go to the Rock Nation brunch. Oh, they man. haven't called me to go to the Gold Party. So except being honored. They haven't the called me when we offered to honor Jay Z at the award show. Mm. They didn't call me to go to the press conference about striking the deal with the NFL while we were kneeling for Kaepernick. They didn't um, call me to ask me what I thought about her hair care product. Bro, why do they need to call you to ask me what you yeah. thought about that? They didn't call me to offer a free bottle of her perfume. I, why do they have to give you he that? He is they entitled. Get you on, on, the, uh, on her tour for the Renaissance. They don't like you. <laughs> they don't like you. In fact, when the video circulated making it look like I've been chasing her around like a super fan, which I am a super fan, but I chase nobody. Uh, nobody's called me to clear that up. <laughs> they making it seem like I'm chasing her like a superman, which I am. I am a superman. <laughs> and you technically are chasing her because you keep talking about her and keep trying to, you know, associate yourself with, with the Carters. Clear that up. What is it to clear up that the internet? They're not going to go make a statement up on your behalf like Grove Head. I haven't gotten a delivery of white flowers with a little card from Beyonce. Bro, they don't like you. <laughs> Why are you calling me now? Oh, you also. Why does he expect these things? Stop. Don't we not going to even go there? I stopped a major, 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 major thing for Beyonce. Didn't even get a thank you. You still don't so, say what it is. So why? Why? You could be making that up. Why is everybody know? calling me now? Because I'm a firefighter. Because <laughs> I, I run towards fires. Oh, Lord. And I put them out. Or I fan the flames. But why is everybody calling me now? And that's the problem that I have with this whole situation. But I am going to save this conversation for Jay-Z. Jay-Z, you're watching. I know you're watching. But you got people calling me. Stop having people call me. You can call me yourself. You know how to get my... Girl, he's not going to call you. But then you can get on your platform and say, Jay-Z called me and gave me some pertinent information because... Him calling you, all that's going to do is add to your story that you want to put out. Jay-Z's not going to call you. We so then about it. when he does not do an interview with you, then you can expose that he called you and what and, and what was said. Girl, he's not going to call you. My number, you know, you, you got people calling me. Call me yourself because <laughs> this right here is going to go viral. The way my job works on the internet, everybody's oh, going to keep it shared on, 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 on uh, uh, TikTok. Watch this. He's so cringy sometimes, but, I, but I'm with him, though, to a certain degree. I'm going to get to it. <laughs> Jay-Z and Beyonce is going to see this. I am exhausted with people calling me about Jay-Z and Beyonce. You've never called for anything else, and I haven't even said anything about you yet. And yet, 
I'm getting all these calls. I've gotten more calls over the weekend about Jay-Z and Beyonce. You know, I think this is an opportunity to have a bridge and have a conversation about how this thing works because I'm not a publicist. I am not a, um, I'm just Jason, okay? And I have opinions about Unlocking Hollywood. Remember I said at the top of the show or somewhere in the show that I, I was in love with the entertainment industry until I found out it was Jeffrey Dahmer. This is part of the gnawing at the risk that the industry does. You know, black girls excellence, we don't show up for each other like we should. And then when the shit's about to hit the fan or some shit, you think I'm gonna go fan some shit, now you're showing up. But he just say a person that be intimidated with like me, try to stop people's bags, try to not give people no money, try to have News Network not work with me, try to have Claudia not work with me, try to have all these people not work with me, calling mm. around, try to pour salt on my name. You're a big hater, girl. Mm. You don't like when people don't talk, don't talk, don't mention you. Like, girl, they don't, you're a hater. Everybody doesn't have to like you. You're not going to be able to bully everybody into being your friend. That worked with Cardi B, worked with Woody Williams, and you finessed Kanye West, you got over with Diddy, and you flipped on Diddy. I mean, people see how you are. It's no tea. But girl, Rihanna, you got her. But Jay-Z, Beyonce, they don't, they don't see it for you, bro. It's no shade. You know, again, I'm not angry. Ooh. I'm a little disappointed because as much as I've loved this woman for years, I told you I don't like her as much as I used to. I still love her. Well, you don't like her because she don't give you an interview. If she gave you the time of day, then you'd be singing her praises. Exactly. It's, part of the day. It's, it's all about you feel like, okay, I'm done listening. But what I'm gathering is, Jason Lee feels some type of way that he does not have, out of all the celebrities from Diddy, Rihanna, Cardi B, Wendy Williams, Kanye West, he gets nothing from Jay-Z or Beyonce. They don't give him any interaction. They don't care about him. He can pump fake the threats. He's got tea on them. It doesn't matter how many Renaissance tickets he buys. It doesn't matter. They're not inviting you to the, to, to the cookout. They're not inviting you to the brunch. They're not <laughs> inviting you backstage. They invited T.S. Madison. They invited all these other LGBT influencers and, 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 and television people and, and music artists to be a part of the Renaissance as LGBTQ. You are not invited. You are not on that list. You feel slighted. You feel away. And so you've been You're not entitled to that, though. Them, That's ridiculous. Uh, you know, because you feel like you've given them something and you've got nothing back. And now you feel like, why are they calling you now when they never engage with you and giving you anything? Okay, I get it. Now, what I will say is this. You know, to his to his credit, you know, I, I somewhat agree with Jason Lee because it's like, well, if you feel like, don't call me now if you never call to include me in anything because you know that helps my business. I want that. I want the interactions. I want to be a part of it. I want to be invited. Whatever that is, he wants to be a part of it. They don't bring him a part of it. And so now, but don't also call me to put out fire. Now, do I really believe that they're just calling him like that? I don't know if I believe that. I feel like he also knows that they're probably not going to respond to him. But why not say anything just to go to go viral? Now, here's the thing, though, too. Do I believe Jason Lee may know something? Yes. I don't think it's just this knockout, drag off brag out, put it into it, um, put it into their careers. They're just too big, you know? And so I think that he is playing it smart by putting little stuff out there. He's putting little stuff out there, but Jason Lee is never going to go and just drop the bomb by himself. What he's going to do, which is smart, I think with, with, if there is some tea, he's going to wait till they get exposed on a major level that he's going to come in and ban the play. Because if he drops something right now, Beyonce can post a picture, drop an album, they can ignore it, they can say the six and this is. Jason Lee is not loved enough by the culture, liked enough or respected enough for mm. people to take his word and cancel Jay-Z and Beyonce because of Jason Lee. Unless it's just like super, 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 super detrimental. And I just don't see it being that because what this sounds like to me is a cry for help and support and engagement. So if it was something really, really dark, I don't think Jason Lee, you know, brand wise, would even be dumb enough to want to be associated with them. This is like, I have some information, but it's not Maybe. career ending, but it can be messy. So either you could engage with me and be my friend. Or I can keep hinting friend. at this, and then if something truly detrimental comes out then about I'll you say through someone else, then I'm going to release this story to kick you while you're down. Mm. So I don't think Jason is going to really drop any tea. 
I feel like it's more so he's setting it up. So if something else comes out big, bigger than what he's got, he can add to it. Mm. And he's also trying to bait them and bully them, which is kind of in his brand, into like, be my friend, talk to me, um, engage with me, or I'm going to put this out. And here's my thing. I think that these celebrities, I don't think if they are reaching out to him, don't reach out to him. Because my thing is, if you're not reaching out to the man to engage with him, to butter him up, include him on stuff, don't try to have him put out fires because he's going to feel away. And I would feel away too. You know? But at the same time with Jason Lee, like people get mad when, you know, I'm not mad at him for, you know, kind of slightly bump faking because we all get teal on celebrities. But like at the end of the day, some of these celebrities will try you, but they know that their platform is bigger than you. And so what they do know is this well, if you expose them or if you spill the tea, it'll be for that 15 minutes of that day. And they can just do something tomorrow and overshadow everything that you've done or you've said. And then it just pretty much, you played your hand. I don't think Jason Lee has that much information to just, it's, it's probably a little bit of tea, but it's not enough tea to where Daisy and Beyonce, it'll stick long enough and hurt them. Like, the tea that he has, he's using it as leverage to try to get what he wants, which is engagement and interaction from them. Because now he's like, well, this could be a conversation. Well, what is the conversation? You're threatening a woman to expose them if they didn't give you an interview. They know what you want. They don't want to engage with you. But at the same time, in all fairness, they need to stop calling him food. Are don't they really calling him a... Don't have people Because I don't know what to believe at this point. He wants your engagement. He wants to, He wants you at his award show. He wants you to build his brand. And rightfully so. Like, I've learned, like, I don't like Jason Lee. But respectfully, oh. at the end of the day, it is give and take. A lot of these celebrities will sit up here and act like they don't see you or don't want to engage with you until they need something from you. Mm. And it doesn't work like that. Respect the media and the, re- the media will respect you. So at the end of the day, if Jay-Z and Beyonce are having people reach out to him, they need to stop because you guys haven't given Jason Lee enough for him to be biased for you. And I think Jason Lee just needs to admit, girl, you're not doing this out of love and for the community. Just tell the people how you really feel. You're upset that they're calling you, but you want to be accepted. And if they call you and give you an interview or engage with you or be your friend and talk to you, you'll miraculously forget about all this thing. I agree with that. Jason Lee is so messy. <laughs> He's so messy, and he's clearly throwing a tantrum because they won't engage with him, and they won't give him what he wants, but it's just so much entitlement. Like, they don't owe you anything. You bought those tickets on your own. What the hell? Like, you went out of your way to do that, and you're claiming that you're this super fan and this, this, and that, but it's like you're wanting something in return from them. They don't owe you anything, so I don't understand why he feels so slighted and why he feels like he's owed something. It's very bizarre, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they know about him, but they are choosing not to even be bothered with him because they they don't they pay a lot of people dust if you think about it. So he's not special in that sense. Like there are so many people who speak ill of them that they never address. Like they're Jay Z and Beyonce. Like people are always throwing dirt on their names and you know always having negative things to say. They don't sit up here and address everybody or they're not going to embrace everybody either. So, I don't I'm confused what he wants. <laughs> like it's just so strange, but sure, he's claiming he got this tea. And if he actually does, I do predict that eventually he will spill it. So, we just have to wait and see what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.